Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Overwatch 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So to do this just go over here in the start, click on the start icon, go to this icon, go for the restart. Once restart is done, try launch the game. So this is a basic step which you can try out. I'm not going to say this is definitely going to work. So you can try with the simple restart. Once the restart is done, we can try with moving to the next step. Next step is all about we need to try with verify integrity of game file. So for verify integrity of game file, we have to go over here in the game. Right click over here and go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So it is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular one. So that is an important step which you need to keep in mind. So it's going to take a little bit of time as you can see this has to reach 100 percentage and once it reach 100 percentage you have to click on this icon and launch the game. So that is what we have to do when it comes to how to uh, verify integrity of a game file. So let this get uh, processed in between and once it's reached 100 percentage, I'll be showing you the next step. So uh, the thing is, it is very important that if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing at the same time, you know, these even causes for the issues like crashing, not launching, freezing, stuttering, FAS drop, black screen and all these kind of issues can also caused by these issues as well. So we have to keep in mind even the latest downloaded games we have to cross check the verify integrity of game file multiple times because if any files are having issue then we need to fix by this particular step only. So uh, this reached it almost to 70 percentage so we just need to wait a little bit of more time and once it reach 100 percentage we just will be getting the play button over here once again and just click on the play button and try playing the game. That is what we have to do. Once we are done with the verify integrity of game file, the next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. I don't know how this is related, but as far as I'm concerned, for many users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, it did work it for them instead of launching it directly from the Steam. So once the files are validated, like I said, you'll be getting this one. And once the files are validated, so once it's successfully validated, we'll be getting the play button. So try launching the game. So after launching the game, still the issue is there, we need to launch the game, not from the Steam, but from the installation folder. For this, just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now from here, go to the install and files and just click on the browse. That will take you to this installation folder. So if you check over here at the phone, this is the installation folder. That is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common Overwatch. Now from here, we have to go to the application that is Overwatch. Now from here we need to launch the game, that is what we have to do. For many of the users this will work fine. So this is what we have to do when it comes to how to launch this app. And after launching the game from the installation folder, we need to check whether the issue is solved or not. If the issue is still persisting, then we just need to try with the next one, that we need to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator so run this program as an administrator once you check this and just go for apply and go for ok and most probably after you try with this one the issue has to be fixed because running the game as an administrator work it for many of the games you can try this out as the same so once after that if still shell issue is there we need to try with run the game in the compatibility mode as well for just go over here in the game, right click over here and we have to go to show more option, go to the properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode, set either to Windows 7 or Windows 8. If you're on Windows 7, it's fine with Windows 7. If you're on Windows 8, go for Windows 8. Once after that, just go for apply and go for OK. Once you're done with this one, just close this and go back to the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Still the issue is there, but then we just need to try with the next one that we just need to make sure the date, time, time zone is correct. For just go over here in the search, go for settings over here. Now from here we need to go to time and language and from here we have to go to date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This has to be correct. So if it is turn it on, we have to turn this on. So this has to be correct. This is very important. Once you set this up, we just need to close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or not. 
next one is all about we need to launch the game but when you're clicking on the play button you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and that is how it's going to work because it work it for many users so you can try this out as well apart from this if the issue is still persisting you can try with the next one that you have to delete the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer now from here we have to go to uh, this pc over here now from here we have to go to the documents and even if, if you find the folder overwatch you have to delete this respective folder keep in mind when you delete this respective folder you will be losing all the progressions of the game that is very important you will be losing all the progressions of the game but you have to keep in mind even you do this this will be working because it worked for many users so you can try this out as well it worked for many in my knowledge it worked for the games like you know Uh, NBA 2K23 it worked for Remnant 2 even for the uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart it worked so we can try this out once you're done with this one we just need to move to the next one and next one is all about we need to allow the game to window security so just go over here in the search and we have to go to the control panel and we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow app or feature through windows defender firewall and we have to keep scrolling down and we have to navigate to oh because it is based on overwatch so make sure the game is added so the game is not added and we have to add it by default so just click on the change settings and we have to go for allow another app go for browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program for x86 and we have to go to steam and we have to go to steam apps over here we have to go to common now from here we have to go over here and we have to go to the overwatch over here we have to go to overwatch now from here select this one and open it and we have to add it so you have to keep in mind if the game is already added you'll be getting the error and make sure the private and public should be checked over here both the things has to be checked Okay once you set this up just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game even after trying this and allowing the game to window security still the issues there then we just need to try with these possible workaround that is all about we need to unplug all the usb devices so you might be connected with multiple monitors joystick controllers and many things might be connected so just remove everything from there remove everything once you remove everything try launch the game and keep in mind once the game is successfully launched if you wanted to play the game with the controller just connect it back and try playing the game it worked for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for doing a perform clean boot just go over here in the search go to system configuration go for services go for disable load go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay those who are watching this you have to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because i'm here in middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without restart so once after restart is done check whether the issue is solved or not still the issues there we just need to try with the next one that we just need to disable the steam overlay for disabling the steam overlay go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties make sure this is enabled if it is enabled we have to disable this and once you disable this just launch the game if that is not working we have to try with the next one that is launch option the first command is we need to try with dx11 so try with dx11 and launch the game if dx11 is not working we need to try with dx12 and try launch the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the thing will be working fine so you can try this out it worked for many users so you can try this out as well try with dx11 or dx12 Once after given the launch option we have the issue try with this one that is all about we need to close overlay application so just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager now from here we need to check right now as you can see there are 47 apps actually running in the background so when we are trying to launch a game like overwatch these also parallelly getting used up by the ram which is affecting the performance and that is resulting in the crashing so what we need to do is we just need to end the task each applications like which is draining out a lot of performance for example discord uh river tuner msi after burner all these are one of the main reason so just remove everything from here just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with the next one that we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so we just go over here in the search and we have to go to the graphics settings now from here once you go for the graphics settings here you have to find the overwatch so i have already added the game so just go over here once you add the game so if you don't know how to add it just click on the browse go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 now from here we have to go to steam over here and we have to go to steam apps over here we have to go to common from here then we just need to navigate to the overwatch folder over here select this one and add it so here i have already added so just i need to go over here and select this one and go for option keep in mind this will be let windows decide you need to change this to high performance so that it will be used by nvidia geforce rtx 2080 with max q design go for save close this and go back and try launch the game 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory and that's very important step. So to do this just go over here in the search. We just need to go over here go for view advanced system setting go to advanced setting once again advanced once again go for change and over here make sure the paging file change should this should be blank if it is selected you will not be able to select the local list so uncheck this and select the local list where the game is installed go for custom size here we have to give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here go to the calculator so we need to type the ram so ram is 32 gb and we have to multiply it with 1024 that brings us to this and we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings 49152 so we just need to paste it next one is minimum uh, the maximum size that is 32 gb should be multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98304 we just need to paste it as well so once you're done with this one just go for ok and set everything is done try launching the game and most probably the issue has to be fixed even after trying with this the issue is still there we can try with updating the windows so just go over here in the search go for settings over here and we have to go to windows update and make sure the windows is up to date so we need to update everything and once you are done with this one just close this and try launch the game even after there's still the issues there we need to try with updating the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to the nvidia as well as amd so nvidia users have to go over here select everything including product product series product operating system language etc now go over here and you can find the latest version 536.99 which is released on august 8 2023 so just download this one install and restart your pc and go to the amd driver over here over here if you're on the amd go to graphics i will select every details and go for submit once you go for submit you will be having two options if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install and restart is a mandatory and if you're on this microsoft you should see plus plus you have to download this one go to this page and if the system is based on x64 download this one if it is on x86 download this one the restart is a mandatory and try launch the game next one is all about after trying with all these things and the issue still persist and you can try with uninstalling the game and we have to reinstalling it back for uninstalling the game just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind you can uninstall it back but keep in mind you should not be installing back on the same local disk from which you already uninstalled so you just need to uninstall it and once after that you have to install it back on any other local disk and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do when it comes to how to fix this Overwatch 2 is having crashing and all this kind of issue and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.